Hey everybody, welcome to the Wolf Pit. Today we're going to make one of my favorite styles of barbecue that I grew up on. Eastern North Carolina chopped barbecue pork with a vinegar pepper sauce. So let's get started. Here I have a six and a half pound Boston butt, untrimmed, and I'm not going to trim any of the fat. And I'm going to season it very liberally with just salt and pepper, and that's it. The grill dome is filled to the rim with lump charcoal. Now I'm going to take my hand torch and light just the center for about 30 seconds. Hickory wood is what's usually used in Carolina style barbecue, but I'm going to use apple wood today. I'm going to spread out about 10 chunks throughout the coals and that way they'll burn throughout the cook rather than all at once. Now I'm going to insert my indirect cooking rack. The ceramic heat deflector that I've wrapped in foil for easy cleanup. And on top of that, I'm going to place an old aluminum pan to catch the fat as it renders. And finally, our main cooking grate. Now I'm going to put our pork butt on, fat side down. I do it fat side down because that gives more exposure on the meat side and gives you more bark and more bark equals more flavor. Now I'm going to put our remote thermometer probe on and now the remote meat probe. Put this in the thickest part of the butt and make sure it is not touching the bone. Tuck all your wires in, that way you don't get them pinched when you close the lid. Now I'm going to open the top vent and the bottom vent 100% until we get to 250 degrees. Once we hit 250 degrees, I'm going to shut the bottom vent down about 90% along with the top vent. Initially, you may have a temperature drop or a temperature spike. Leave your vents alone at this point and your grill will stabilize around 250 degrees. Do it this way and you'll have an effortless cook. Don't try to shoot for an exact temperature. Your temperatures are going to fluctuate just a little bit throughout the cook, up and down. Just let the grill do its thing from this point on. Now just sit back with a cold beverage or two and enjoy the beautiful day. Now you can't have Eastern Carolina barbecue without a vinegar pepper sauce. So let's start off with some apple cider vinegar. Add a little bit of water. Some black pepper. Salt. Brown sugar red pepper flakes, and cayenne pepper. Get the lid on tight and give it a good shake, and that's all there is to it. After just over 11 hours, the grill dome held steady the whole time between 245 and 260, and our pork is done, so let's get this wrapped up in some foil. Now I'm going to wrap it up in a clean towel and put it in a dry cooler and go watch my daughter's softball game. When I come back two to three hours from now, it'll still be piping hot and ready to pull. Alright, I'm back from the game and it's been right at about three hours. Let's go ahead and get this unwrapped, pulled, and chopped. It's amazing how hot that stays. It's still too hot to touch. Now just get two forks and start pulling. Now just take a knife, or preferably a cleaver, and chop the meat up until it's real fine. Just like that. And here's the bark. 
This is where all the flavor's at. Nice and spicy and crunchy. Just pull that apart, chop it up along with the meat. It'll add some nice texture. Once all the pork is chopped, pour on our vinegar pepper sauce. Pour as much or as little as you like. The more you add, the more flavor and spice it'll have. Get your hands in here and just get it all mixed together. Now the pork is ready to serve. And there you go. Eastern North Carolina chopped barbecue pork sandwiches with vinegar pepper sauce and of course coleslaw. It doesn't get much better than this. Moist and tender, spicy, smoky, tangy, absolutely delicious. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you give this a try and I'll see you next time.